Clearly Jordan's not fit. I don't think he should be involved physically and mentally. Today's game won't be that tough for him to deal with. He's an experienced player, but they've not kicked the ball for three and a half months and going to a European Championship. He can't be right. Now, I've heard a people say, well, they want him around the place. For what? what, what does he do card tricks? Does he have a sing song? Does he does quizzes in the evenings? What does he do? And if you're Liverpool, you wouldn't be happy either. Surely Jordan doesn't want to be around the place either being some sort of cheerleader. You know, you, you want to play. And he's clearly nowhere near it because what you need after being up for three and a half months is, is three or four or five games maybe. So if he gets through the second 45 minutes today, does that mean he might be an option in two or three weeks? He's clearly not fit enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I li only Keen could put it that well, way he's, he's, and I like the way he did it. He's having a pop at Southgate really because what he's saying is that if you're going to include him, then that was a perfect opportunity to give him minutes, more than 45, 60 minutes, 70 minutes, whatever it is. So I understood where he was coming from, but what, what he's forgetting about Jordan Henderson, he is the most athletic, probably the fittest player in the Premier League, bar none. Um, if you're going to take a risk on anybody in terms of their ability to, to hit the ground running, it's him. He changed the game second half. He looked sharp, he looked fit, he played positive, played forward. He was more productive than Phillips, more bra braver on the ball, probably because of his experience. Was he that good? He was great when he came on. He really was good. If you watch the game back second half and watch how positive he was with his passing, he speeded it up. He, he, he was faultless as always. So for you, he should be in there and uh, as opposed to not being in there. I understand Keane's point. I would have started him yesterday and tried to get 60 minutes out of him or 70 rather than 45. But I don't know. I'm not looking at his data. I'm not looking at him in training. So Keane might have a point. He might not be ready for next week or the week. I don't know. But from what I'm hearing and what the people I've spoken to, he looks more than fine in training. Should Henderson. he have taken the ball uh, for the penalty? I don't mind that. Couldn't care less, really, in a friendly. If the two penalty takers were off. He's the captain. He decided, I want to take it. He, he, you know, he, he flexed his muscles. I'm the captain. I'm going to take it. Fine. No problem with that. I mean, it's an argument that Calvert Loon should have flexed his and said, no, get out of here and I'm taking it. Well, you've got to be careful. You know, you, you, you have a place in a squad and you have to understand where you, what your place is. Calvert Lewin, if you see the penalty, when Jordan took the penalty, Calvin Lewis got his hands on his hips, doesn't go for the rebound because he's sulking, he didn't take it. He's had a wonderful season, but he, sh he should be thankful he's there. He should be thankful he's in the squad. He didn't have a great finish oh, this don't, season. Don't be silly. Hold on. These are really players. They shouldn't be thankful that they're anywhere. They're there because they got their own merits. Fine, but you don't, you don't, you don't have confidence you don't in one hand. You don't spit your dummy out. Yeah, but that's, that's, but that's an assumption on your part, isn't it? You're, you're reading body language and suggesting that body language well, denotes what he is. So you, a, a striker who wants to score goals for his country has got his hand on his hips when there's a penalty being taken. But you're assessing body language and assuming it. Maybe it's just a bad position. Maybe it's not sulking. Maybe he should have been more switched on. And the argument that Jordan Henderson should start in a game when the game starts, he's not match fit. He hasn't played. So maybe coming on after 45 minutes when some 45 minutes worth of, of energy has been taken out of the legs of other players would enable him to shine a little bit more in the second half rather than blow straight away and be at a pace that he can't be at for the first 60 minutes. So maybe that's the reason why Southgate decided to put him on after 45 minutes. I was talking about minutes. why Keane, I think Keane thinks he made his comments because he should have, he thought he should have started to get more but minutes But the same argument would apply to Keane then, wouldn't it? The argument that we're debating about whether he came on and was effective for 45 minutes and the second 45 minutes where the game has had 45 minutes taken out of the legs of the other players and the argument yeah, of Roy Keane is advancing. Ease him in, but if you what Keane's saying, if you ease him in, how can he be ready for a big game in a week or two? But he's but he's right to some extent as well, because we're going into a tournament. Jordan Henderson is okay, he's a very good player. He's very good in the Liverpool team that happened to be an exceptional Liverpool team. Mm. Right? England aren't an exceptional team. Right? So Jordan Henderson, as a decent player in an exceptional team, will translate into a decent player in a decent team. So this superstar status that we're affording Jordan Henderson, I don't think is relevant. And also the fact that he isn't match fit, puts us in the situation where how are we going to be fit for purpose when we play? Forget about playing, you know, pre-season friendlies against Austria and Romania where everyone's strolling around. When you start to play against the Scots that are going to rattle you and have a go at you because it means a lot to them, when you're playing in a tournament when the business is really at the front of it, Henderson will look even worse. Because you'll be, we'll be a mile off it. We'll see. I mean, Chris Laker is one of a few Danny's saying, Danny's lost a plot this morning. Henderson isn't even the fittest player at Liverpool, never mind the Premier League. I mean, certainly there are questions about him at this stage, Danny. Yeah, um, well, well, coming in this late. about fitness? No well, question about him being fitness. there at all. You know, like, and, and featuring. Yeah, but you could say the same about Maguire, couldn't you? You know, Rashford's apparently needing a shoulder yeah. operation. You could say the same about lots of players, and we always have this dilemma. But they're match fits. Rashford is match fit. Rashford is match fit, yeah. yes. So he's probably a 